Hi everyone, welcome. My name's Andrea and what I do is I work with children and adults to basically teach movements that close the learning gap and they also reduce anxiety, they help create calm, and then you're just in a better state for learning. I work with teachers, I work with kids, and I work with adults. So welcome. And today's live video, what we're gonna be talking about is anxiety, and I wanna teach you a fabulous movement that you can use and will have now for the rest of your life for reducing anxiety in the moment. So it takes probably, if you give it its due time, anywhere from three to five minutes. But I think, let's face it, in this fast paced world, when we get anxious, three to five minutes is nothing to bring us back to a state of calm and coherence, right? So in this video, I'm broken it up into three parts. First, I just wanna talk about the physiological impact of stress on our body. And then what I wanna do is tell you stories in real life of where I have used the movement I'm gonna teach you today to help someone else in my life uh, overcome anxieties or fears. And then I'm going to talk, teach you the movement and talk you through why physiologically it is so powerful. So I didn't make up this movement. I'm not that smart, but I am smart enough to use it and know it. And I feel like it is a gift. So if you don't my, know my story about just over 20 years ago, I tell this story in one of my trainings. Personally, I was having a bit of a nervous breakdown and it wasn't a bit, it was quite serious. And I learned this movement and it took me out of a very anxious, very depressed state into a more coherent body right away. And from then on, I used it in my own life. I continue to use it in my own life and I incorporate it in my teaching and help it help students who need to have greater coherence and greater focus and maybe are a little bit scattered okay and the reason i chose anxiety for today is that it's great that we're about to come on the holiday season and even if you don't celebrate christmas per se you are in the mix of a lot of excitement traffic is busier, stores are busier, there's just a busier buzz in the air, and all of this has a negative impact or can have a negative impact on our nervous system, and people who already have anxiety are gonna be more susceptible, and people who don't already have anxiety or just are normal are gonna be susceptible to feeling what's going on. So let's talk about what's going on physiologically in your body, okay? So essentially, uh, when we are stressed, we do get a rise in cortisol and um, adrenaline, a sort of a rush in our system. And I'm looking at my notes just to make sure we're on track here. Um, and when this rush happens of adrenal, adrenaline and cortisol, it is very difficult to think rationally, right? And literally what's happening under stress is we are preparing for the fight or flight. So we don't need to have really good communication skills or really rational thought when we're just trying to survive. And they've done brain scans. I found this one today I wanna to show you. I was looking for a specific book that has almost this exact scan. Um, couldn't find it, so I found this one instead. But what you can see is the neural activity and the energy to, um, for optimal brain functioning would be here. Uh, but when we're stressed, we just have less access to literally our brain function. And more energy is pulled toward our survival centers. So it's literally harder to think and it's harder to think rationally. And why is that important when it comes to anxiety? Well, anxiety impacts our nervous system. And you see here, stressed and depressed. It also, our emotional center is lower 
than our rational center. So if you're kind of stuck in that emotional center and you can't get the rationality of it and try and see the forest for the trees, so to speak, you're gonna have a harder time just functioning. So that's what's physiologically happening to us under stress. And that's not a great place to be for enjoying your family over the holidays or going to school and trying to learn or being a parent or just being the best person you can be under stress, you're gonna be more anxious, you're gonna be, you're gonna lose your temper, all of these things and all of our brains, whether or not you're a developing brain as a, as a young child or an adult who has gone through a lot of the brain development, we are still developing all the time, but there's certain stages, we are gonna feel this, right? So I am gonna teach you the movement, I promise, but I wanna tell you some success stories with the movement and they're kinda, they're kinda fun because it's so magical, this movement. All right, so I already told you my story. When I was having a nervous breakdown, I went to see a woman and she was an alternative health practitioner and she taught me this movement and it just was a, I, Going into her office, I felt like a bit of a shell. You know that where, okay, one more thing to do, I can't do it. I'm on the verge of, a, of crying all the time. And after doing this movement with her for about three to five minutes, I was able to just be calm and rational and see a light at the end of the tunnel. I realized I, this is not gonna be my outcome. I'm gonna be able to be better and since then, over 20 years ago, I've used this movement. All right, so you know I'm a teacher and all the students I, I work with know this position and I call it positive position. And so we do it every day in school and I was working at an inner city school in Canada and the kids had gone out for a recess and when they were coming in, there was quite a lot of chaos and anger and things going on because a lot of things had happened on the playground and a lot of these kids didn't really have great social uh, ability to sort of solve problems independently. And so they were coming in and it was Miss Fry, Miss Fry, and two particular boys were fist fighting. So they're the ones I had to kind of deal with first, but I also had all these other ones. So I just looked at the two boys and I, and I just said, get into positive position right now. And quite frankly, once you are in this position, it's impossible to hurt anybody else or yourself. So that was my motivation. They're gonna sit there, they can't hurt anybody, they can't hurt themselves. I'm gonna put out second, third, fourth, fifth fire and go back to number one. So I dealt with the other kids who were kind of having lesser flare-ups. And by the time I got back to these kids, they had started the position with a facial expression. I'm gonna try and do it, kind of look like this. And by the time I got back to them, and I promise you it was about three minutes, their faces had relaxed. And I asked them, do you feel better? And they were like, yeah. And at that point, it was just easier to have a conversation about, all right, how do we want to move on from here? What happened? What went wrong? And it just made the teaching easier. It took less energy, less words on my part, because they were at their brain, they were able to think more reflectively and were able to move on. So that was a real, a real eye-opener to me of the power of this movement that I'm going to teach you today. So I want to tell you another story. So um, I have a family member in my life who was, un was finding that their blood pressure was getting high and they were taking those store-bought blood pressure tests and I happened to be there visiting and I said, you know, before taking a pill or anything, can we try this movement? And I kid you not, we did the before and we did the after and what, during my visit we did it at least three to four times. Each time using the movement lowered the blood pressure. Ta-da! 
So I'm not a doctor, I'm not prescribing you anything, I'm just telling you that there is such power in simple movements that we can do within our own bodies. We don't need to reach out there for the solutions. Hi Krista, I'm so excited that you're watching right now, welcome. Okay, so I do have one more story that's really awesome of another student and I promise this will just take a couple of minutes and then we're gonna do the movement. So I have another story of another student, again, comes in from recess, was, but he came in early from recess. I wasn't on duty, he came into the room and he was on fire. Everybody else was wrong. He was mad at this kid because he had done this and he made me do this. And it was, it was all that kind of stuff. Like he was wrong, he was wrong. And I, you know, I was overwhelmed by his kind of presence. So I just said, look, get into positive position and we can talk about this in a minute. So he gets into positive position. Then I sit with him and I get into positive position because what I know from all of my work with this stuff is we have a mirroring aspect in our brain and we will mirror the person, the, the sort of energy of someone we're with. And I wanted to have a calming effect on this person and not allow the sort of static of what was going on with this young boy to impact my calm, right? So I got into the position, he got into the position, and magic happened after about three minutes. I was sort of wondering how long we were going to stay in this position. I was sort of waiting for him to decide when he was done. And remember, he came in like flailing and everybody else was wrong. And he, this was like, I think he was eight years old. He just sort of took a deep breath and said, you know, like, I almost, anyway, I was, it was just so reflective. He just said, the person I'm most mad at right now is myself. What a different conversation I was able to then have with this child when he was able to be using his full brain and realize like, I might have made some mistakes there and we talked through, well, what now? Okay, mistakes were made, where, where do we go from here? But what a different conversation and what a different child was I dealing with than three minutes before. So let me teach you this awesome movement. And if you will indulge me in this live while you're here to actually, I guess, play along and use this movement to your own advantage, I would love it. So what I want you to do is think about a, a situation in your life right now that is quite stressful and causing anxiety. So again, if you're watching in the replay and you're gonna, and you plan on watching this whole thing, just play along with me, why not? It's not gonna take much time and it can only possibly help in my experience. So I want you to think about something that's quite stressful or causing anxiety in your own life. And if you could rate it on a scale of one to 10, give it a number. And what I'm hoping you're gonna come up with is something that's more like a seven, eight or nine, because let why not? Let's really impact this if we can with this movement. So think about it, think about what about it is really stressful. Ask yourself like, what's the number one thing like what's the what's the why is this stressful in your life and then again give it that number between one and ten okay and then we're gonna do this movement and I promise you it is so simple as a matter of fact if you're watching the YouTube replay of this which you aren't right now if you're with me right now Krista but I am gonna put this on YouTube with uh, a link above and I'll put a link on my Facebook for everybody else um, to a video where Dr. Carla Hannaford, who is a neurophysiologist, talks about the simplicity of this movement and physiologically what's going on. Okay, so what I want you to do is you're going to take your hands like this, palms together, thumbs up. Okay, and then you're going to put your thumbs down. Okay and one hand is gonna go over the other and you're gonna hold on, right? So from the side, it looks like this. And then you're just gonna 
pull your hands like this. If this is hurting your shoulder or anything like that and you're feeling any discomfort, I'm gonna give you a modification in just a second. So if you're here with me, great. If this is not accessible to you or you're working with children where it is not accessible and this does happen where you'll have kids, you know, you might have to work with them for a little bit to get this part, but I do find the thumbs up, thumbs down is an awesome talking point to get them in it. Hands around, hold on, and pull through. Relax your elbows down, relax your shoulders down, okay? And again, here's my modification. It just looks like this, okay? So this is okay too, right? Now, you cross your ankles as well. So I'm gonna show you a picture of, this is the part we're doing right now, okay? So you're, your ankles are crossed, your hands are sort of in that pretzel-y position. Let me bring that even closer to you, okay? And in Brain Gym, they call this hookups. You can also learn this position on the internet if you uh, re uh, Google Cook's hookups. It's taught in other uh, movement-related programs such as Touch for Health, okay? And this is part one. Your tongue is also on the roof of your mouth. So here we are in this position. I'm gonna keep you here for just a few minutes. And while you're in this position with your tongue on the roof of your mouth, I wanna tell you a little bit physiologically, according to Dr. Carla Hannaford, the neurophysiologist, what's happening in your system. So I made some notes to make sure I got this exactly right because I don't wanna mess that up. So when your tongue is on the roof of, the roof of your mouth, it stimulates tongue limit, ligaments, which connect to the vestibular system, which is really, really important for balance, but it also activates the reticular activating system in your brain. And that helps focus and balance, okay? So we're activating the RAS, reticular activating system, and we're also connecting with the limbic system with the frontal lobes, right? So the limbic system is all our emotions and the frontal lobes is higher level thinking where we can sort of synthesize and analyze information. So think about blooms, right? Um, where we're really able to kind of look at the past, look at the future, look at right now and make rational choices all right so that's the tongue on the roof of your mouth i have some other information about the tongue on the roof of your mouth so private message me if you're interested in that um, interesting in connecting the central meridian of your body okay all right now while you're in this position again stay with it and breathe relax your shoulders relax your jaw as i'm talking to you this configuration where we have our ankles crossed and our hands like this, okay, we are drawing attention to our body's midline and core postural muscle, muscles. And so I've said it before, I'll say it again, strong core, strong mind. Midline awareness is key. It's absolutely key. And it supports higher order thinking and choice making. Yay. So this from, I um, took some notes from the latest Brain Gym Teachers Edition, and they say in it that this movement invites calm while focusing and organizing our scattered attention. So this is great to do before a test. Uh, now you have a, uh, a gift that you can do before doing your taxes, before a job interview. These are all the th all times when I would use this, by the way, um, before a difficult conversation, um, if I'm waiting and I'm frustrated about having to wait, I can get into this position, okay? And, and muscles relax and mental chatter can dissipate, right? So it's, oh, it's all good stuff, really good stuff. All right, so I've had you in there for a little while. I didn't time it, but you have to admit, we haven't been in this position for very long. So just take a nice breath. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to get you to uncross your legs and uncross your hands and slowly bring your fingertips together. This is part two of the movement. And it's just a metaphor for bringing this two hemispheres together in an integrated state. Now what I'd like you to do is to go back to your stressful situation and to honestly rate it and just see and be honest with yourself what happened to your number between 1 and 10. Did it go down? Did it stay the same? How are you feeling? In my experience with anybody I've done this with, it's been really cool. Type in the comments if you feel, find something really awesome and, and great about it. If you find that it didn't go down, I would suggest getting into it for another couple of minutes. I, I promise you. Um, <laughs> I, I have taught this to my husband and, and I will notice sometimes when he can't sleep, uh, he will do this and he will be able to fall to fall to sleep. It's it's just a really great gift. I feel like this movement is a gift and I'm not sure I believe it came from uh, Mr. Cook because it's Cook's hookups uh, the originator of it, but I'm not quite sure like I said you can find this in a lot of different um, movement programs and teachings really so like I said like look you do not need a lot of space for this I do this in staff meetings I do it in the midst of conversations people really don't know that you're doing it when you're doing it you know but who cares if you know that you're taking your brain even halfway there from here that's great news and like like dr carla hannifer says in in the video i'm going to share with you this week on youtube and i will link that above like i said she you know this is this is not something where we're going into this is cost money it's not outside ourselves it's within our own bodies and so that's what's really really exciting about it i believe so, you know, the, the holidays are coming up and I, I do feel that, like I said, it's a time where, yeah, there's a lot of excitement, but it can be a negative impact on the body. So please, please share this video with anybody you think could benefit from a really easy movement, you know again like this you can do it with your kids you can have them do it when they're going to bed you can use it before um, before work before whatever um, it's a gift it truly is a gift I feel really blessed to have that movement at my fingertips and to have all these people like gurus in my life who have taught it to me and explained it to me so that's it for this week. Uh, private message me also or go to andreafry.us and get on my mailing list because January's movement of the month is going to be this hookup position. And I will give you a PDF on January 1st where I'll have a picture of the movement. So it's gonna look something like that, but I'll have my own model, child model, adult model doing it and I'm gonna tell you the why, the physiologically why, how to do it, some teaching variations, when to do it, that kind of thing. And then you can share it with anybody who you feel would benefit. So that's it for today. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. And I will see you again.